premier classic so yeah i ran this team with a bunch of success it felt good we saw a lot of positive leads with the uh with the talent with the 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 uh, charizard it's on wing attack so um it's solid honestly like the back line is predictable and sure it can be broken up but there's so few things that really break up the core that i don't really mind and wall rain is kind of a house so we're just gonna run it and see what happens um if i can get a couple good sets in or even one really good set we'll 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 see we'll see we'll just sort of see how it goes finding opponent you say <laughs> there's an opponent Oomst. All right, Minato, first opponent of the set. Good luck, friend. What do we have? We have a Charizard into a Surfetched. Okay. I do like, I like that. Two, three, four, five, six. So this could be a Brave Bird, right? And a Switch. Oh, they actually Night Slashed me. Okay, fair enough. Obviously, we would like to uh, we would like to win this matchup. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So if they are on Brave Bird, and if that's a if they're on Brave Bird Night Slash, you know, no, I don't think they are. That that move set doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So Oh, is it? Am I am I counting the the right? Am I just counting the wrong, the wrong number there? I don't like the Trevenant with a running start. Is Brave Bird seven? Okay, so I got both their shields though. I like that part. But they do have quite a lot of energy. It's eight. Okay. So I'm I'm oh, I'm maybe giving them more credit than I should have. For some reason I thought it was 6. Okay, this is a good this is a good catch for them. I will say that. Upside is this is going to get very awkward for them. So what I want to do here because they are Trevenant still has some energy, right? There's their Mega Horn, okay. I just want to. I don't think they can. Well, so basically, I'm one Shadow Claw away. I can't stack, so I've done the literally the most energy I can do here without stacking. Okay, we got it. GG's. Not so bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know why Trev would run foul play. I've I've heard rumors of such a thing existing. I don't know why somebody would. I don't know why somebody would run that. Yeah, that was pretty easy for us. Obviously, um, we won switch advantage there, and we got both of our shields back, which was really nice. Um, that Trevenant could have been a big problem for us if we did not get both of those shields with Zard. Um, but they didn't really have a lot of good gameplay there. Like both of their backline was very bad against Charizard. In fact, their entire team lost a wing attack Charizard. So uh, I feel pretty good about the fact that we got good value with it. So that was good. That was good. Whoa, what is happening on my screen? <laughs> what What is happening? Uh... That was a strange bug. <laughs> Someone clipped that real quick. That was dope. It was the uh, the charge move animation. I mean, they can sludge bomb me, right? That's a real thing, and it does hurt. But I don't. I don't think we're giving up a. Sh okay, they mud bombed. We like that. Um, Dragon Claw doesn't kill him. So I'm going to go ahead and YOLO the Blast Burn at him. Yeah. 
and just make sure they die. Okay. I don't really want them coming out of this with a lot of energy and they, they very well might. Um, we probably could have baited there, but it's fine. We'll let this go. Um, I can go into the wall rain mirror potentially. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't love this, but I also honestly don't really want to have to deal with um, Trevenant here. In this matchup, so I'd rather just come in here and just like soak up all this damage and hope that Trevenant up a shield can find a way to beat whatever they have in the back, right? Or at some point, if I really want to, I can always uh, swap it in and try and get even more of a running start while keeping my wall rain alive. Uh, this is actually, yeah, this is not going to work out for us. I mean, I'm going to shield this. I don't like shielding this. All right, now things are going to get, now things are going to get interesting because I'm going to actually be pretty aggressive here. You know, I shouldn't be baiting here. I have a, I have charge moves. Shield's good. I have the Earthquake as well, so like their chances of winning once these shields are gone are very, very low. I guess the way they win right now is going to be CMP over my wall rain. So they need to come out with a move and win CMP, which is going to be pretty challenging for them. I'm not going to lie. Which is one of the reasons I ducked out. Like, I had a feeling their backmon might be Trevenant. Um, we overkill the shit out of that. But, yeah, see, we it's still doing this. It's still doing this. Lol. Very silly. Very silly. Okay. Hey, we've got a good, uh, we've got a good win going. Got a good win streak going. Charizard's looked very good in our game so far. All right, on board. Cheers, friend. I like the bonus dust. I'm not going to lie. Okay. What do we got? Zard Gallade. Okay. Fair enough. So close combat does hurt. It is one of the things that like I don't love about this matchup is, uh, but we see MP here, which is kind of on purpose, right? Um, because it means that they're going to have to shield. And I believe we're going to get another move off even after taking that. Or more to the point, they're going to die. Um, I should have switched more quickly. But I believe Walrein can handle this thing pretty okay. So, Especially with that shield gone. Um... That's going to be a first Poison Fang. We're not going to shield that. We are going to force them to... Uh... Oh, this Lag Spike's not good, though. Lag Spike's never good. Game, game. Help. Save us. Save us from ourselves. Uh, the Glade is still alive. Um, it's low, but it's still alive. I really don't know what their energy is like here. Um, I'm going to shield this and hope that uh, this works out for us. Does. Perfect. Can I get out of here? I can. So they did not respect the earthquake, which is a shame for us, but that's fine.
Oh, good. Okay, so they baited us. That's uh, that's real. I think we're going to get Megahorn. The Glade is still alive, so worth noting that we do have to still account for the Glade, right? Oh, they didn't even... Wow. Still don't know that this is going to work out for him. I mean, if they have Megahorn, I don't even know that Megahorn kills me. It's close. Yeah, it doesn't even kill me. Really, the best thing the SCAV can do frequently is just like put you in a spot where it does a lot of damage and that's usually its best outcome it doesn't it has a hard time killing trevenant it's more just about like being able to hurt it but that's pretty rough for them okay so far uh these games have all played very nicely for us they've played uh they've played pretty cleanly our charizard has looked excellent it's it's won basically every lead and been a problem for almost every team we faced so that feels great. That's the part that's feeling best right now. There we go. There we go. Ivan Arrow. Good luck, friend. We've got Charizard into Sylveon. That is another fairly positive lead for us. And I learned my lesson. I'm not baiting. We're, they we're just not, we're not going to do the bait thing here. because it's extremely punishing well of course they shield <laughs> they're listening to me it's extremely punishing when uh you know they they know shield but i'm matching i don't like that we have to match shields to have a chance to win this but if they're counting my wing attacks then they'll be ready to make a switch here but i do think we win this fight straight blast burn It may require both of our shields, but I I do believe we win it straight blast burn. Oh, would have been nice there. Hmm. Okay, this is a little bit, this is a little sus, but I am going to do that because I think having a shield is really valuable. Uh, okay. I'm fine with this. I'm certainly fine with this. Um, will I shield? Yes. I think we shield a, a potential Megahorn here. Obviously would have preferred not to shield that, but I think the Trevenant is already looking potentially problematic for their team. As evidenced by the fact that Sylveon is back in here trying to do damage to it. <laughs> so I'll get a little extra energy at the cost of a little health. Seed bomb that and see what they have in the back. Lol. <laughs> Sorry, friend. GG's. <laughs> That's not it. That's not the one you want. <laughs> You're definitely not looking for Charizard lead into, uh, into Trevenant, are you? Okay. I don't believe they had a... Uh... I don't believe they had a plan for what our team was doing. <laughs> uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Hey. We take those. We take those. This is what happens when I was like, I spent the first two days trying to like creatively attack the meta. And then I was like, fuck it. Wall Rain Trevenant. Let's go. And I've won the vast majority of my game since I put wall rain and Trevenant on my team. And I'm like, Oh yeah, I probably, I probably made a mistake. <laughs> I probably made a mistake at my ELO. I'm a champ. Okay. We like this. Okay. We're going to, we're going to go to war wall right here. Charizard has been really good for us. Like Charizard is excellent. Um, I think any flyer in the lead would have been pretty good for us. I think a superpower me outright. Nope, body slam. 
but I will say that uh, in particular, Zard has been very potent for us. Zard with the really good core in the back has been has been strong. Okay, so they're still body slamming me. That's fine. We're going to be vulnerable to a superpower here at the end. Um, I don't actually need um, switch advantage here. What I don't want, though, is I don't want to be behind a shield. It is a wing attack, Zard. Yeah, Chunk. I am on wing attack. Uh, Talonflame's not legal in this format, man. So, okay. And then they're going to let... Yeah, okay, fine. This is not a, it's not a bad play for them, right? We do get an Icicle Spear, which is good. Um, but this allows them to have a running start into our Zard. Um, also ha have it up a shield. So it allows them to potentially, you know, rock slide us to death. What I'm trying to decide here is if, uh, yeah, I think what we do here. Okay, this is fine. I mean, we're behind a shield, right? So, like, our big problem right now is just the fact that uh, being behind a shield is very bad. And I don't know necessarily how I'm going to win from here. So, I'm going to catch this. It's not a move I want to catch, per se, um, but it's certainly better to eat it here at neutral than it is to eat it at super effective over there. And uh, we're still in trouble because the Machamp still has quite a bit of energy. Uh, I, okay, if you're running a Talonflame in this, you're you're making a mistake. How about that? More to the point, you're making a mistake. Come on, come on. Yes, let's go. We'll take that. Whew. Uh, if they shield the Blast Burn, who knows not? I think they potentially have other issues, but they probably needed to shield the Blast Burn, yeah. I find nothing RPS about this meta, necessarily. I find that I'm playing, I went 5-0. I find that I'm playing a lot of mirror matches and matchups that are energy dependent and such. Tra Walrein and Trev turns out are both pretty good against each other situationally. So if you're running Walrein Trev into Walrein Trev, um, turns out you're not really playing rock, paper, scissors because neither of them beats the other one all the time, right? It's very situational. I kind of like that. Like... Now, if you uh, if you're trying to like run a bit of a fussier team, there's definitely some RPS going on. But I find that Walrein and Trev have enough win conditions against each other that it's kind of it's it's not bad. It doesn't bother me as much as I I thought it was going to, as far as like these two mons specifically. 